Okay, let's talk about another topic that um, it's always a work in progress for the city of San Antonio, kind of the elephant in the room, the airport. Oh yeah, so much, it, you know, it's amazing. We can, you know, at, at the Express News, it almost doesn't matter what we write about the airport. We get this huge response. Like people just watch people the airport. People are into what is happening they, or yeah. not happening at yeah, the San and Antonio it's because, Airport. And I actually raised this point in one of my columns. It's like, I really believe that the city's airport is a reflection. It's like a mirror we kind of hold up to ourselves. And you know, some people, you know, can look at the, the, uh, the, the airport and say, well, this is a good, this is a good solid little airport. It's easy to get through. It's very, you know, its design is very simple. It's not complicated and it doesn't need to be. And then others will look at it and say, oh, you know, this is where we are as a city. You know, we're not, you know, it lacks sophistication. It lacks, you know, direct flights to, to Boston, for example. That's a big one. Uh, and, you know, it's hard to get from here to Washington and yes. not, not easy to get to New York. Uh, and ooh, if you want to talk about international flights, forget about it. Like, unless and, you're talking about, you know, uh, Mexico pretty much, yeah. there's nothing. And that's one thing that the Express News recently published right. an article about, comparing Austin's direct flights to Europe. Yeah, which is... With our lack of I such. I know, yeah. It's always anathema, which is why we do it. Because it's just kind of, <laughs> why not? Uh, yeah, so we looked at, at Austin for a good reason. Uh, they, they picked up their first international, like their first European flight five years ago. So it was in 2015. It was a flight, you know, a British Airways flight to uh, London. And, you know, this was a result of years of relationship building between, you know, Austin, like city and business leaders and the airline. And it's, it's done really well, so much so that uh, Norwegian Air um, has joined British Airways for a London flight. And it's, you know, there's no, there's no indication that that's gonna go away anytime soon. And you know, this year they're going to get, uh, or Austin Bergstrom will get uh, direct flights to Amsterdam and Paris, and they've already picked up uh, two flights, two flights at least, at least one flight to uh, Frankfurt. And meantime, the San Antonio International Airport is struggling to have some direct options to some big domestic. Exactly. U.S. cities. Exactly. So are these airlines saying, here's why we're not looking at San Antonio? Yeah, I mean, they are. It's uh, part of it has to do with uh, our metro area. It's just, you know, it is it is uh, it is a lower income metro area. Uh, our, you know, our, our corporate class is not as dynamic and doesn't, you know, frankly, Travel overseas as Austin as often as uh, Austin-based businesses. So you know that that's a real problem, and that's what airlines look at. I mean, you know, if if they're going to go to the trouble of, you know, establishing a route at an airport, they need they need bodies to fill they need those seats. To travel right? Yeah. That yeah. Route. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the days of like LBJ in the 1960s. Joe Cryer loves to tell this story about how he wanted a flight to Washington. So he got it. I mean, because he was president at the time, so he, he got it. And it that thing lasted for years, even though there were very few people, you know, actually in the cabin <laughs> at the time. Uh, those days are over. Like it's it's every every route has to be justified by by passengers. And you know, airlines have concluded uh, San Antonio is just not there yet. All right. So we keep working on our work in progress. We're going to work on it. Okay. Which I guess that's a good way to start the new year. I'm just going to keep working on it. So, all right. Happy 2020. Hey, you too. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks.